Hello everyone. With an alpha release of Tmod Loader 1.4 right around the corner, I thought that I'd make a mini-series going over the steps needed to create your very own mod. This first video will be very short, and I will simply show you how to generate the mod skeleton code and set up <coughs> got my throat going. Set up your work environment. Right, so the first thing we're gonna do is enable developer mode. Make sure all of these are, yeah, it might ask you to download new scripts and all of this stuff, just download it and then continue. And now we've got developer mode activated and we've got mod sources. Inside of mod sources there's a lovely little button called create mod, which we're going to click. Um, you, can, you can do anything here, um, obviously no spaces, no spaces for these two, but Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it uh, Rod. Uh, Rod Tutorial. Um, Rod <laughs> Tutorial. Mod. Mod with the Rod. And the basic sword I will call feeble rod maybe like that feeble rod because slightly fitting um, and then we'll just create um, if we build and reload okay so the the mod finished packaging packing whatever it was doing it took quite a while don't know why. No problem. As you can see, Rod Tutorial Mod version 0.1 is enabled now. Another mod we're going to download is Cheat Sheet, just so we can easily drag and spawn in all of our items. So if we allow this to just you know, add itself to the game, we've now got our own mod and we've got Cheat Sheet. So, we can hop in now, there will be a, a basic sword, and that's the entirety of the mod so far, but we can just see it work. It's like a random character, that looks remotely similar to me. Okay, oh, let's just go for this one. It's nothing like me. I create rod. No, want to play. It was like a small, normal world. Well, I can't think of anything fancy or creative, so I will just default to world. Okay, the world's finished generating. Let's hop in. Right. So, we spawned in, we've got the default items. Let's see, is this cheat sheet? Yeah. I think so. Show, now we want to show, there should be a mods tab. Show item browser, okay. Um, and let's just search for rod. Feeble rod, there we go. If I search the mod name, will it just, will it does it let me rod? No, it doesn't let me. But we, we can we can see our our basic sword is now in the game. It's called Feeble Rod. And it does fifty melee damage and it has a description saying this is a basic modded sword. Perfect. The next thing we want to do is make sure that we've got our uh, code editor open and then back in mod sources we'll open sources we'll see our mod here if you've got multiple you'll see all the different names but this is the mod we're working on and we're going to drag it into uh, well in my case vs code let it load and then we'll see 
all of the mod files. We've got items, which currently is just feeble rod and uh, the sprite. And we've got some properties here, which we'll delve into later on. Right now, the most interesting thing that we want to look at is the, f the, the, the code for our feeble rod. <laughs> and um, we can see here, we've got the description. This is a basic modded sword. And we've also got these, these values, which we can change. Um, if you remember, the, uh, the, uh, the damage was 50. So if we change this to, I don't know, 10,000 and this is a, this sword isn't so feeble dot 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 um and then we save uh, and we'll go back into t mod loader into our mods you know into our um, mod sources we build and reload and then we go back into our world We should now see. There we go. Our feeble rod has now got ten thousand melee damage. With the description, this sword isn't so feeble. If we go over and find a slime. Hopefully, there's one nearby. Oh dear, just my luck, wouldn't it? The one time I'd, I'd like an enemy, there there aren't any in sight. Anyway, you you get the you get the um the idea that it does have ten thousand melee damage. Oh, there we go. Let's see. This jumps up. There we go. Dead. We've got our first modded sword. We've changed some values and we've set up the work environment. That's all for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.